Suck harder. <laughs> you guys in the vlog, hey yo, guys, these are the uh, governor candidates for what party, man? Federalists. The feds. Okay, so future winners. Luke Conste running for Senate. Zion is considering doing a, a write in. But then they'll have beef. I got beef with nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, turn, this sun gets my eyes. Less than how many hours? Still one o'clock. Right now is seven o'clock. There are 18 hours left at Boy State. And the sun is here. If you have it right behind the head, it looks really nice. Goodbye. My boys could yeah. never. Do they have any extra smalls in there? Yes. Are you gonna go full muscle shirt? How's it feel? Yo, I suck at volleyball. Lieutenant Tate uh, coached me, so I'm retiring tomorrow. Okay, we're gonna talk about stuff. So when we're posting it, so you can't talk about the specific people yet. I know. We're gonna talk about like voice things. Okay, stuff. we're gonna say some words, and you guys are gonna listen. All right. Uh, I love voice state, the politics of it, the boys talking about it. You know, it was really fun to see them try to approach different problems with politics, and today. We had our general elections kind of stuff getting set up for the gubernatorial and the nation senators. And we had our Q&A, really fun. These two had some great questions and Colby was there. And it was great to see the boys get active and try to answer questions. Uh, I would like to see some more definite, correct, more effort put in the questions from the candidates. But overall, it's about what we expect from uh, our candidates during the night. Um, I'm excited for the election. I think this is probably going to be the closest election I've seen in the past three years, personally, while I've been at Boy State. Um, for, like, just governor, yeah. governor, or senators, or... All of them. You know, I, I <laughs> realistically, I think anyone could win, right? My, my year that I came here as a boy, the nation senators was pretty, like, well set up. You, your guys' year was pretty competitive, but, like, after the Q&A, I think most people knew who was going to win. This one is going to be a lot more tough. There, there's a lot of talk about like people leaning certain ways and stuff, and there is some public sentiment, but you know they got, what, 12 more hours till voting, and even like nine. You know, I'm really excited to see how these boys do. It's my favorite part of boys' state. Cool. Cool. Okay. Yeah, what do you got, Tate? It's, that's all I got. That's okay. it now. Okay. Dude, if aliens were on Earth, would that disprove the existence of God or would it prove the existence of God? Well, because, think about this, okay? So if UFOs came and there were aliens, right, and they could somehow explain the end, or like the beginning of the universe, right? And the beginning of the universe was like something actually that might have been the Big Bang. Well, then like it probably wasn't God, right? Like what if God created the Big Bang? Or if it's something else that wasn't the Big Bang, like that'd be wild, <laughs> right? And so that'd just be like, disprove everything that made us think about them. Oh, what just happened? Violation. Y'all took a sexual assault. Oh my oh. god. No, I'm Anyways, <laughs> the other question. Did he say something about aliens? Okay. God. Okay. So like, no, but it's a genuine question, you know? And so if I have such a testimony of the Book of Mormon, and I have felt things that made me like, I believe this is true, and I know God's true, and I know the Book of Mormon is true. Like, aliens came tomorrow, and were like, yup, no, God isn't real. Like, that's just something that you humans created so that you lived in peace, and you didn't have to wonder and think all the time, and you could create this factor. But also, like, the universe is so complex, and it has such, like, it's just so straight and narrow, and everything makes sense, and it's in such a delicate way. But it's also in such a delicate way, and it could have gone there, because if time existed forever and ever and ever, then eventually something like this would happen, you know? And so the disorder would eventually fall into order and it's like weird you know but that was just my thought dang man that's crazy For real those are some hot topics um being at boy state it's, it's kind of weird for my state because last year it was all about i want to make it the senator that's kind of what i decided like third third day in so my whole my whole experience last year felt like a campaign pretty much and this year it's interesting to see um like the other candidates and I'm just kind of, I'm kind of chill. Like me and Carson don't really have that many jobs. We're just kind of like observing, and it's interesting to see like what like what their strategies are to get picked and like what their viewpoints are. 
And during the Q and A, it was hard for me not to just talk because a lot of the questions that were asked, I had a strong opinion about. But with that being said, um, Harry, I'm taking you here. Yeah. It was fun being with you, man. Chris, glad you're back. I don't know. I don't know how long we'll see each other till. Hopefully, it's short. But if it's not, yeah. See, boys, like three years, right? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, my thoughts on Utah Boys State. This class is twenty twenty four. It's been it's been awesome. Um, I think it was very inspiring, and it, it gave me a lot of hope for this next generation. Because even those who were uninformed or less informed than uh, I had, I, I I'd have hoped, they put a lot of effort towards developing this month government and putting effort in getting themselves out there, getting out of their comfort zone. So I think that's something that I really needed to see from this future generation. And uh, it definitely inspired me to be better as a person and as a governor for this, for this Utah Boys State. Um, I definitely think that there were things that I wish I would have done better or things I wish I would have changed. But I feel like, honestly, overall, the Big Four did a good job this year. We did all right. Um, as long as we continue to do our jobs and leading these boys, keeping the uh, American Legion's image in intact as much as possible but Utah Boys State has been a very fun experience and uh, for anybody watching make sure to make sure to come out and come visit it's gonna be some fun it's gonna be some fun nice okay will you hold this one okay. absolutely okay sure. um this is an interesting thought that I had with Harry was saying that um the debate like I can't say this like out loud but like a lot of the okay, I guess they're not gonna find the channel a lot of guys really suck at answering the questions, but it made me think like, am I just hating on them because maybe two years ago I really sucked and it's just my perception because it worked really hard. Am I over inflating my past accomplishments to think I was so great? I was thinking like in David Goggins, uh, you take the soul taking section where they're carrying the boats and like benching it, uh, that the, the guys who are judging them have done hell week and so they're like, think that they did it better. And so Goggins goes and does it so much better that they don't question that Goggins is just doing it better than they did. So I gotta like, is there kids that will show up and make me be like, yeah, there's no way I was that good. Or like last year, I kind of felt like that with Carson Cooper. He did such a good job. I was like, yeah, I wasn't that good. Or is it just my ego inflating this year being like, oh, I think I did better than these guys. Uh, but it's hard to tell. The years are different. That's the thoughts for tonight. And for State, maybe we're gonna see you next year.